My name is Bill, and for most of my life, I worked as a long-haul truck driver. I spent years on the open road, ferrying goods from one place to another. It was a tough job, but it paid the bills, and I managed to save up a considerable sum for my retirement. When I turned 62, I decided it was time to take a break and fulfill a lifelong dream of visiting Thailand. I'd never taken a proper vacation before, and I was looking forward to it. Thailand's beauty and culture fascinated me, and I was eager to explore a world beyond the steering wheel of my truck. Little did I know that this trip would change my life in ways I couldn't have imagined. While in Thailand, I decided to pamper myself and headed to a local massage parlor. There, I met an exquisite young woman named Anya. She was 40 years my junior, but to my surprise, we felt a strong connection despite the significant age difference. We started spending time together, and our bond deepened into a romantic relationship. Anya confessed her love for me, claiming she couldn't bear to be without me. It was a whirlwind romance, and I couldn't resist her charms. I made the bold decision to bring Anya back with me to the United States. I divorced my wife, whom I had been with for my entire life, and moved into a new home I purchased with my savings. Anya and I got married, and for a while, everything was like a fairy tale. However, three months into our marriage, things took a sharp turn. Anya began to grow distant and cold, and the spark in our relationship faded. She started disappearing for whole days at a time, only to return and claim she was longing for her homeland and needed time alone. Her disappearances became a regular occurrence, and I began to suspect something was amiss. One evening, I took a different route home and noticed Anya's car parked in front of a luxurious house I had never seen before. I had bought that car for her just a month ago, so I couldn't have been mistaken. My gut told me something was wrong, and I decided to confront her. I knocked on the door of the house, and was met by a young man in his underwear. Behind him, in a bathrobe, stood Anya. They tried to explain that it was all a misunderstanding, claiming the young man had a sore back from the gym, and she was giving him a massage. But when our eyes met, I knew something was off. The shock was too much for me, and I collapsed, losing consciousness. I woke up in the hospital to learn I had suffered a heart attack. Not once did Anya come to see me during my recovery. It was my ex-wife, the woman I had left for Anya, who visited me regularly, offering support and care. With a heavy heart and a weakened body, I was discharged from the hospital. But Anya had already sold our house and disappeared without a trace. My calls went unanswered, and I was left with nothing but regrets. I had betrayed the woman who had been with me all my life for a fleeting romance. With nowhere else to turn, I swallowed my pride and returned to my ex-wife, who, despite everything, welcomed me back into her life. I was filled with remorse for my actions and begged for her forgiveness. I had lost so much in pursuit of a dream that had turned into a nightmare, and I had no one to blame but myself.